king. Say, gang, have you ever stopped to think of this? You might be a dunk. Do you know what a dunk is? Well, if you don't, I'll tell you. A dunk is a fellow or girl who takes chances. And believe me, that's not a good thing to be. Yes, sir, dunks are just plain foolish. Every year, thousands of dunks are hurt just because they're dunks. They run out in the street without looking both ways. They go swimming in deep water alone. They do all sorts of things they shouldn't do. And they pay for it, too. Don't you be a dunk. Don't take chances. Play safe, and you'll be able to keep right on playing. Act like a dunk, and you won't be able to do all the things that are so much fun to do. Remember, look both ways before you cross the street. Never, never step off the curb until you know the coast is clear. It only takes a second, and it may mean the difference between a summer filled with fun and months in bed. Don't be a dunk. Don't take chances. Remember, all the time, everywhere, be cautious. Take care. Now... The Adventures of Sky King. Master, get deeper in the woods. We may be able to lose them. Oh, we ain't got no chance. No chance at all. They'll get us short. Oh, Sky, they will. They will. Keep going. Down this way, we'll try and fool them. Maybe we can. Hey, listen. Listen to those giants. What cooks? All of us. Hey. Hey, look back there. The bridge had busted. Yeah. Their bowel hoots was too heavy for us. Their weight broke it down. Yeah, their weight and Sky cutting it halfway through. Oh, Sky, we're safe. We're safe. Uh, from them giants, maybe. <laughs> Look ahead there. Through them trees. Oh, God. Blue, man. Hey. All blue. Their faces, their clothes, everything. Oh, Sky. Sky, what can we do now? That was the picture a few seconds ago. You remember what happened, don't you? Sky King, Penny, Clipper, Martha, and Jim Bell had managed to get across the river with the yelling, shouting giants close at their heels. Sky tried to cut down the bridge, but the blade of his knife broke. And then, with long, deadly spears whistling through the air, with the giants screaming at their backs, Sky and our friends ran into the forest. There they heard the bridge go down, heard the giants as they fell into the river, saw ahead of them an army of blue men. Now, with the frenzied howls of the giants still echoing in their ears, and with the blue men still coming toward them, Sky King speaks. They haven't seen us yet. Quick, behind these bushes. Okay. Sky, what are we going to do? What can we do? There's hundreds of them. That's all right. They may not be looking for us, but them giants yelling down there in the river is what kept them from seeing us. All of them are looking down there. Maybe we'll get a break. Maybe they'll go down there to investigate. Uh, if they don't, they ain't human. Oh, look at them. Oh, blue. Their hands and their hair. Why, well, even their guns and swords. Oh, me, I, I ain't caring what color they are, as long as they stay away from us. Hey, they're going down the bank. They're down to the river, Sky. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Some of them are staying up there. Wish we could hear what they're saying. We might find out what gives with those blue boys. If they're looking for us... Oh, it... gosh, how could they be, Sky? How could they know we're here? That's what I'm getting at, fella. If they are looking for us, then King Ramesses, or whatever the gent's name is, has been able to keep a pretty close track on our movements. Are we in his country, Sky? Is this the land of the Diamond Scarab? That's how I'm betting, Penny. According to the dope I got from Prince Takiki, we're there. Watch it, Sky. Huh? Some of them Jaspers is coming this way. Yeah. Get down flat on the ground. Oh, yes. That's it. Under this bush. Quick now. Quick. Here. There's only two of them. Oh, two of them is enough for me. Shh, don't move, any of you. They stay on that trail, we're okay. No talking. Dead or alive is what the captain said, like the Medes. Dead or alive. And I hope it is I who has the opportunity of running my sword through this man called Skyler King. Let us hope we both have a chance, Hammurabi. There will be glory enough in it for both of us. Glory in the claim. Claimed by all. Perhaps we might even become captains. At least captains. 
Then it would be our turn to look down our noses at the palace guards. Merely because His Majesty has given them the task of guarding the woman called Nancy Campbell, they think they're better than the men of the Blue Legion. I care nothing for that, but wait. What is it, Hammurabi? I thought I heard something from this bush here. Listen. It is only the wind stirring the leaves, Hammurabi. If the North Americans could not be this close, we would have seen them from the hill. Just the same, like Amides. I think I'll have a look. If I can find this man called Skyla King. We will both look, Hammurabi. We will both... Soldiers! This way! Soldiers! This way! Our captain calls us, Hammurabi. Uh, they have probably found him. This way, men of the Blue Legion! This way! We must go, Hammurabi. Um, that is always my luck. Always the way things go. Oh, Sky. Sky, I thought they had us. I, I was sure they'd look. Uh, just plenty close, honey. Uh, too doggone close. Well, we better get out of here, hadn't we, Sky? Oh, yeah. These guys might come back. We'll try and find some better place in just a minute, Clipper. They'll see us if we move now. Did you hear what they said? Dead or alive. They want you dead or alive. All right. They haven't got me yet, Martha. And we did find out that Nancy Camel's in that palace. That's one break. I've been wondering how we were going to locate her. Uh, a lot of good it's going to do us. Between them blue things and them giants. Uh, listen, Adam. What's going on down there? Can you see Clipper? Well, I can, Jim. I mean, I can see them, but I can't quite make out what they're doing. Well, they're fixing the bridge. Those blue guys are fixing the bridge, Guy. See them pulling it up? Yes. That's why they were hollering for the soldiers. Well, if you ask me, I'd say it's a good time for us to haul our freight out of here. Well, where are we going, Sky? To find a better place to hide in, honey. Around here, between those giants and the blue boys, it's more crowded than a department store two days before Christmas. How about it, Jim? Can you see anybody in that hill? Wait a minute. There are your souls, Guy. There ain't nobody up there at all. A whole no good lot of them is down there at that river. And me, I, I don't wish him no bad luck or nothing, but, but I kind of hope a crocodile takes a good nip out of anyways a couple of them. Well, you might get your wish, Martha. All right. Which way we move it, Sky? Let's make it for the top of this hill, huh? From there, we can at least see this bird if he comes back up this way. Everybody ready? Oh, All, right, sure All right, Jim. come on. We shove. Easy does it now. No running. Stay in the brush as much as you can. Right. Here we go. Hey, Sky. Those two guys are coming back. All right, speed it up a little. All right. Come on. They can't see us yet. They may pass up this hill, especially since they were here a couple of minutes ago. We're going to have trouble with them birds. Them apples are too anxious to be captains. Come on, over this way. Brush, I think, just about right. All right, come on, get down. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we'll all the rest of the way. Uh, uh, we want our heads to show when we get to the top oh, here. I've done more yeah, crawling around on my hands and knees on this trip than I've done since I was two years old. Here, here we are. Well, you can, you can quit now, Martha. All of you. Oh, boy. They won't find us here unless they walk right over. Hey, sky below. What? Down the hill. What? A city. A great big city. With streets and buildings and fountains. And look at how them fountains glitter. Gosh. Look at them in the sun. They're just like diamonds. Oh, Sky, are they? Do you think they really are diamonds? Yes, Penny, I do. As big as your head. Bigger. And there's the palace, Sky. It must be. It's bigger than all the other buildings anyway. And it's got a big scarab on its roof. Well, I hope you're right, Clipper, and that it is the palace. Because we're going down there in a little while and see if we can find Nancy Camel. Oh, we'll never make it, Sky. We'll never get past all those guards. See them? They're everywhere. We're going to have to make a stab at it, honey. That's why we came here, you know, to get Nancy Campbell and Joe Butler out of this place. Try and get some rest now, all of you. Because as soon as it gets dark, we're going down there. Evening wanders across the heavens now. The quick tropic twilight slides away over the forests of Ecuador. Night, like a black velvet cloak, wraps itself around the jungles. 
And Sky King and our friends stand on a hill and look down on the lights of a fabulous city. Look down on the land of the Diamond Scarab. Well, kids, here we go. This is it. Say, I ain't trying to back out of that sky, but don't you think uh, it'll be better if we wait till later? No, Jim, I don't. They may lock that palace up at night. Then I'd never get into it. Into it? You ain't going to try to get in there, Skyler Jim. How else can I find Nancy Campbell and Joe Butler, Martha? Oh, but Sky... But, Penny, it's the only chance, honey. I've got to go in there. Oh, how? How do you figure you're going to get in? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll just walk in. Oh, take a squint around you, Sky. Take a look to your right and to your left. Them lights ain't fireflies. They're soldiers hunting for us. Oh, there's hundreds of them, Sky. All right, the more the better. They hunt around in that forest and up there in the hills... We walk right into the city and into the palace. I hope. Oh, you're crazy, Skyler King. All right. I guess I am, Martha. So we're Dan Porter and Olaf. They're kind of crazy that will do things for their friends. <laughs> I'd do that better if I was playing a violin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm with you, Sky. No matter what. Oh, me too, Sky. Yeah, me too. You know I am. Um, might as well make it unanimous. A bunch of fools, all of us. Here's the palace, Sky. What you want me to do? Let's just stand here for a moment in the shadow. Have a look at what's what. Hey, there's a gate. It's the only one I can see. Right over there, see? Yeah. There's a guard in front of us, standing right beside us. Yeah, with lights all around him, Sky. We couldn't sneak up on him. All right, then we won't. I've got an idea. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. It's the only one I've got. Penny, Clipper, Martha, you stay here. Right here in this shadow now. Jim, you come with me. Sky, okay. what are you going to do? Try out something, honey. Don't worry. Come on, Jim. Right. Just walk naturally. Uh-oh. The guy sees us. He's walking towards us. Yes, I hoped he would. You let me do the talking, Jim. Here he is. Uh, good evening, officer. Is this King Ramos's palace? It is. Who are you? Oh, just a citizen, officer, out for a little stroll. You are not a citizen. If you were, you would know His Majesty's palace. Well, what do you know? That's a horse on me, isn't it, officer? On the other hand... <coughs> All right, catch him, Jim. Don't let him hit the ground. <coughs> I've got him. Boy, you move plenty fast, guy. You even surprised me. Yeah, here, help me drag this bird in the saddles. Quick, okay, quick. All right. There. That'll do. Let him down. Now... Tie him up. Gag him. Pepper. Penny. No. Give Jim a hand here. Hurry now. Sure, Sky, sure. Boy, that was really a slick job. Well, what are you going to do now, Sky? What? Me? Why, honey, I'm going into that palace. Keep listening. In just one minute, we'll continue with Sky King. You know, gang, automobiles are wonderful things. They make life more pleasant for all of us, provided we don't take any chances with them. Well, there's only one kind of person who takes chances around automobiles, and that person is a dunk. Sooner or later, dunks get hurt. They run out in the street without stopping to look both ways. They run in front of cars and hope the driver will see them and stop. They do all kinds of foolish things. As a matter of fact, dunks just aren't very smart. And you know, it's a shame, too, because dunks are just plain fellas and girls. The only difference is they take chances, and they get hurt. And don't you forget... Some grown-ups are dunks, too. Young people aren't the only ones who risk life and limb by taking chances. The thing to remember is don't start being a dunk, and you won't end up being one. Remember that, gang. Don't be an old dunk. Don't take chances. Look both ways before you cross the street. Stop on the curb and make sure the coast is clear. This is Mike Wallace reminding you, all the time, everywhere, be cautious. Take care. Sky King walks away. Walks through the gate. Walks into the palace. He did it. Sky got in. Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah, he's quite a guy. But come on, let's get this bird tied up. That's what Sky told us to do. Oh, here, use my necktie. Uh, here's okay. my handkerchief. We can gag him with that. Whoa, and, and chafe, my... chafe it. Quiet. Look. Poor oh, Jim. Jim, Look. Look, going in the gate. Guards. Ten of them. They'll catch Sky. Or Jim. Martha. They'll get him. They'll get him. Tomorrow, inside the palace. 
That's tomorrow on Sky King. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.